Hello and welcome to week four of Sober Active Mindfulness. My name is Graham McCormack and I'm here in Ireland representing Sober Active Ireland. I was asked by Thomas Shanahan to come on on a weekly basis to put everyone through some mindful practice and to just touch on bits of my own story. So last week on week three we done mindfulness as well and there was a task given to anyone who viewed the video. Now, if you did do the task and you got it done, write on this live video, let me know if you're watching it on replay. Let me know how the task was for you and how you got on overall. So, week four. This week, it's going to be mindfulness of our emotions. Now, our emotions, we there's no escaping our emotions. We might try and suppress them, we might try and escape them, but at the very end, we have to come back to them again. This was addiction for me. This was me trying to escape emotions. Yes, I got certain feeling states from addiction, but I always had to come back to my emotions and deal with them in that moment. Now, there is no good or bad emotions. Sometimes they feel good and sometimes they feel bad. But at the end of the day, an emotion is just that, an emotion. A feeling is just a feeling. Only the mind separates them out and labels them as good or bad. The other thing with emotions and feelings is that we cannot selectively feel them. We cannot say yes to good emotions and no to bad ones. We have to allow ourselves to feel them. And then once we do that, a statement comes up. That statement is you have to feel it to heal it. So if you find the courage to sit with your emotions, healing can take place. And in my own story, Mindfulness was huge in my recovery. I was diagnosed with emotionally unstable personality disorder in 2013. At that time, I was in crisis. My emotions were all over the place. I believed I had no control of them whatsoever until I got, uh, I suppose I got encouraged to practice DBT or dialectical behavior therapy. That diagnosis or that therapy was specific to my own diagnosis. So I started that, it's a year long program And the very first three months of that program are mindfulness based. It was intense. But however, mindfulness definitely helped me become self-aware, understand myself on a deeper level. And when I say understand myself, I meant my thoughts, my emotions, my urges, my choices, actions, behaviours and everything that came from me. Which is that then is why I encourage people to practice mindfulness. And this one is mindfulness of emotions. So we're going to get into the practice. It's going to take around 20 minutes, possibly more, depending on how it goes. So I'd like you to start by getting comfortable. You can either lie down for this practice or you can stay seated. The main thing is just to be comfortable and relaxed. So once you are comfortable, I'd like to invite you to just gently close your eyes, listen to my voice, and it will guide you in and out of the practice. So I'd just like to start by inviting you to take a big deep inhale Hold, 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 and release. Inhale again. Hold, 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 and release. On the next breath, make it the longest, deepest one you've taken today so far. And release. I now want you to continue that cycle of breathing.
Just allow yourself to settle into the practice. There's nowhere to go, there's nothing to do, but breathe in this moment. Take one more deep, slow and controlled breath and when you are done, just allow your breathing to happen naturally as it is. Just become the observer of your breathing. Just curious about its rhythm and flow. I'd like to invite you and encourage you to fully commit to observing your breathing. If your mind starts to wander, which is natural, just acknowledge where it's gone and gently guide yourself back to the breath. And now letting go of the breath, we're going to move our awareness and our attention into our feelings, our emotions. Here's a question for you. What are you currently feeling? How do you feel in this moment? Are you tired? Hungry? Satisfied? If you could give that feeling a label or a name, what would it be? What is going on within your body that lets you know that it is that feeling? Where in your body are you picking up that sensation?
Is it your chest? Your stomach? Is it a warm feeling? What's going on there for you? If you could give this feeling a shape, what would it be? What would it look like? If you could give that feeling a colour, what colour would it be? Is it bright? Is it dim? How does it look to you? Is the feeling inside or outside your body? Is it an energy or is it a physical sensation? Again, just a reminder, if your mind starts to wander, which is natural, just acknowledge where it's gone and gently guide yourself back to observing the sensations. Just coming back <coughs> to what you have labelled or named that feeling as and ask yourself this question, does this feel good to me or does this feel bad to me? Within mindfulness, there is no good or bad emotions. Emotions are just emotions. You could be feeling anger. That's just an emotion. You could be feeling nothing. That is a feeling. If you are currently feeling nothing, then what that states is that you are feeling something. It says it in the name, feeling nothing. 
If you are currently feeling nothing, that is okay. If you are currently feeling angry, that is also okay. So now knowing the name of your emotion or feeling, I want you to affirm the following statement. Repeat this in your mind just after me. I am okay with how I currently feel. I am okay with how I currently feel. I am okay with how I currently feel. An emotion is just an emotion. An emotion is just an emotion. A feeling is just a feeling. A feeling is just that, a feeling. Now I'm going to give you just a few moments of silence. I just want you to see what it feels like to just sit with your emotions and feelings in this moment and be okay with them. If you become aware that your mind has started to wander, that is okay. Just acknowledge where it's gone and bring yourself back to observing your feelings. Now as we come closer to the end, I want you to let go of your feelings and emotions and bring your awareness back to your breathing, back to our anchor for the present moment. Remember, it's not about controlling the breath. It is about observing and becoming the witness of it. Never attached, always detached.
See if you can follow the breath from start to finish. The beginning of the inhalation all the way through to exhalation. Continuously following that breath, that natural rhythm that keeps us alive. And now, coming to the end, I do want you to go in and take control of your breathing. And just to finish, take three slow, deep and deliberate breaths. And when you are done, gently open your eyes and come back to the video. Okay, so welcome back. So if you committed to that practice and you got it done, let me know in the comments how that was for you. Any questions or anything like that, just let me know and I'll answer them for you. Okay, so mindfulness of our emotions. If you've done it, well done. If not, then why not try it? You'll just experience it. And the thing about emotions is that sometimes they can become overwhelming. And what happens is that we become non-accepting of them, which is a form of resistance. And what you resist will persist. So if you start resisting emotions and suppressing or escaping, they may compound and get worse. And at the end of the day, you'll always have to come back and deal with them again. So there is power in sitting with your emotions. Not just that, there is power in sitting with your emotions and being okay with their presence and also adding on to that a little phrase or a little affirmation you can use is this too shall pass because it does how you're currently feeling right here right now you may not have been feeling that two hours ago or even one day ago or two weeks ago there's one thing that is a constant in life and that is change day turns into night night turns back into day your mood changes, your thought process changes, your body changes, everything in life in, and in the universe changes. So understanding that concept and believing it gives us power in knowing that overwhelming or unsettling emotions will pass. And they do, just as the waves come to shore and gently go back out. It's just this constant toing and froing of emotions. So I'm setting everyone who watches this video, whether you're watching live or whether you are watching on replay, a task for next week, okay? For the week ahead, I challenge you to check in with your emotions at least once every day. At least once, if not more. The more you do this, the better. The more you'll gain from it, the more experience you'll have, the more understanding and reflection. But a minimum of once every day, what you can do is you can set a timer for just two, maybe three minutes on your phone 
and set an alarm to go off at least once if not more throughout your day when your alarm goes off stop what you're doing if possible okay be careful if you're driving be careful if you're doing anything else that needs your attention if you have a moment to yourself then take it so set the timer close your eyes check in with, with your emotions label them see what's going on for you and affirm to yourself that i am okay with feeling like this in this moment I am okay with feeling like this in this moment. So there's your challenge. There's your task. Once, if not more, every day for the next week. Next week, I will be back on at 8 a.m. to do another mindfulness practice. Until then, have an awesome day. Have a great week. And I'll chat to you next week. Goodbye.